In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite play in the game to beat man to man uh, from tight. And I'm also going to show you why this play is super, super powerful. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you join our Patreon. If you want to get my entire Washington offensive ebook, we're in Washington today, uh, playbook wise. Uh, I've got an ebook we released, I think, a week and a half ago covering a uh, bunch, bunch open tight end and tight. We're actually going to be updating this with some five wide stuff that I think is pretty interesting and pretty effective uh, over the course of the next couple weeks. So if you want to get access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks, make sure you're a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. And uh, like I said, it gets you access to everything. So we've got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon if you want to check it out. Again, the link is in the description of the video. But my favorite play against man coverage in this game is slot post. This route to the, the tight end is really freaking good. It's, it's literally the best route in the game against man-to-man -man coverage, in my opinion, or at least one of them. It's, it's at least a top two or three route against man-to-man. -man. And so how are we going to set this play up? The first thing that we're going to do, or all we're going to do is block our running back. And then just basically what I like to do is if you want to, you can motion this outside guy out. You don't have to. You can just run it like this. Literally just block your running back and snap the ball. Get the ball snapped super quick. And you'll see that this little route to triangle is going to be a pretty decent little man being route. It's kind of a speed in route. Uh, so you see here, just literally just block the running back. You can set up whatever protection you want. Now on the outside, you have these, uh, these wheels. And these wheels are some of the best routes this year uh, for user catching. So you can high ball. And outside pass lead, these outside uh, wheels against man, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to have a pretty good chance at catching them. So high ball, pass lead outside. I'm just clicking onto the player and swerving, and you see how effective uh, that is. So again, just high ball, pass lead outside. It doesn't matter which side. Pass lead, boom, outside, ag. Very simple, very effective. But the best route on the play, um, so you have those two one-on-one -on -one ags, really, really good. So whichever side they don't use her, um, you can throw it. So they basically have to go out there and they have to either double cover it. They got to figure out a way to stop the axe. We want to make them have to respect that. Even if we just throw like one or two of these a game um, early on, this is enough to at least let them know that we know how to ag. And if they don't respect that, then, then they're going to have trouble. So they're going to start to go to a coverage that essentially looks like the following. They're either going to deep half both these guys or they're going to put them in... Um, or they're going to put them in some type of some type of purple. So then what that's going to do is going to leave the whole middle of the field open for your tight end route, which is the best man-beating route in the game. Auten, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this tight end. He's terrible, right? He's not a good player uh, in Madden, at least. He's not good, right? Um, and so, but you're going to see he's going to consistently cook over the middle uh, man coverage. It's probably one of the very few routes in this game that gets open against man quick into the middle of the field um you know so again we've got good pass protection we can set up whatever protection we want and you see just how wide open this tight end is against a corner who is way better of a coverage corner than he is a route runner right so you're able to beat man and that's a big big deal in this game if you can have a consistent route um that beats man and then you can kind of build around it with some of these other routes that we put on the field it's really really good uh for for man coverage uh, so again, literally every route beats one-on-one -on -one man coverage. Your speed in, please don't sleep on this route. It's really good, um, and it fits really nicely with this play. Okay, so let's talk about zone. So if you get zone, it's really not much different. Um, you have a high-low over the middle of the field. Now, these outside ags, they're definitely not as good against zone coverage specifically cover three buzz um what do i mean by buzz i mean they're gonna have like buzz zones like curl flat zones the deeper these outside zones go you've got to wait for those zones to get underneath and then you can ag you can only ag if it's one-on-one -on -one. okay you can only ag if it's one-on-one -on -one. now if they're if they're hard flatting which a lot of people will do that a lot of people play hard flats then it's a lot easier. The one-on-one -on -one happens faster. It's a little easier for us to get a one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, to, to, to attempt to try to throw an ag. Uh, same thing on the left side here. You'll see this left side. Uh, he cuts up field. He's one-on-one, -on -one, swerve catch, and the guy just, the defender doesn't animate. Ags are super powerful, so please take advantage of them. And uh, again, you know, this is the idea here is we want them to have to respect the fact that we can ag them. Then what we're able to do is work the middle of the field again. So your post is going to get underneath a third. Really nice. 
it's going to get over yellows and under thirds. So now they as a user defender have to go user this route. Generally speaking, they are probably going to be usering on Levante David. So that's going to leave this void in the middle of the field for your little, uh, little baby in route right here, your little speed in, wide open there, boom. And you see how we're able to break down pretty much every coverage in the game with this simple play. Now, another thing that I really want to show is cover two and how this does against cover two. This outside wheel, uh, if you have time, is going to get open against cover two. So we can free form these wheel routes, both sides, uh, to the sideline. Okay. So literally, we're just going to free form pass lead outside. You'll see right here again, if I have time in the pocket, um, you know, I can throw this outside pass lead. The short side wheel is probably better, to be honest with you, uh, for this just because of the way the the wheels are going to run. Uh, but I'll show you the left side just for fun. So you see here my left side wheel. See, I can kind of freeform over the top of that, but it's a tight throw. It's a little harder. Um, you know, if you want to make an ad additional adjustment, just streak this guy here. Um, and the reason why is just because it's going to clear out zone a little better, and then you're going to be able to throw that. Now, the best defense, and a lot of people like to call this against tight, is a base aligned cover four drop hard flat. A lot of people like this defense against tight. With this specific play, you're going to see here that I can still throw that to my tight end. And that's uh, if you are seeing or experiencing a lot of cover four drop and you're in tight, this is where that last thing I just showed you where you just streak this player can be very helpful because now the inside quarter is never going to have a chance to play the post, as you can see. So the user has to guard the post, which then is going to leave the speed in route wide open. Okay. So I love this play. This is becoming one of my favorite plays in the game. Um, you know, again, just these ags are so good from tight um, because they're coming off of wheel routes or these little inverted streaks, these deep wheels, deep streaks. These are really good because they kind of tee up that ag positioning for you, okay? So that is drive post. It is really powerful. Speed in route, two of those uh, nice wheels, and then the best man beating post in the game. Thank you for watching the video. If you wanna learn more about tight or the Washington playbook, make sure you join our Patreon. My full Washington offensive ebook is available in the Patreon. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates. And also, guys, we've been dropping new stuff, new updates, or new ebooks in the Patreon every single week. So make sure you're in there. Ten dollars gets you access to everything. I think it's an incredible steal of a deal. And uh, we hope to see you guys at the Patreon. Links in the description if you want to go check it out.